Hello internet, welcome to, wait, 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 let me be this, Theory Theory. So you know that game that exploded in Roblox back in 2019, made our childhoods and became our favorite game, maybe the last one is a bit personal, that's right, I'm talking about none other than camping, the game where you, wait, there are like 5 parts so far, how am I supposed to, alright. The camping series in Roblox made by Samson XVI was a very fun little happy game where you hop onto a vehicle or anything else until the first night. A big monster or killer chases you and big game until you win. There's at least one ending in each game and you might go, um actually every story game is structured like that. Oh you can shut up! Camping is the first and best story game including the sequels and prequels. And you might be wondering why I chose to say sequels and prequels instead of just sequels. Well, that's because every camping game isn't arranged in chronological order. Now, that means the lore is a lot harder to find without putting the pieces together. And that's why I'm here. Screw you, Mappa. So let's dive into it. So I know the order of which the camping games came out. Go in camping, camping 2, hotel, mansion, and then camping 3. But that's just how the games released. In reality, they are just sequels and prequels of each other, so let's arrange them in chronological order. If you haven't graduated 5th grade yet, chronological order means the arrangement of events last things followed in following one after another in time. <coughs> Mansion After the events of a certain family, we will dive into that later, who had a dad who ran over a girl, Emma Nolan. Emma's dad, Jack, was devastated. He made an event one day for dinner at his mansion to talk to people in, in the town about it. Except, that's what we thought it was the case. So, uh, yeah, no, this guy's name's not Jack. It's none other than, it's none other than Zach Nolan, the serial killer. But this, this was just the start of his murders. The death of Emma has driven him crazy. And he has been building things for his murderous plans and the revival of his daughter. You can literally see what he's doing in the closet before the ghost of Emma yeets you down into Zack's dungeon. Fun fact, you can see Emma appear from a coffin. This means Zack comes to his closet to see his dead daughter. Creepy. A lot of the reason Zack has his daughter's body in his closet, that's just weird, was because he was trying to revive her. You could see the hotel monster, aka Limbo, being built. We can also see Emma's ghost back in the ending of Camping 3. The note in Camping Tree even states how Zack revived his daughter by using a suit. Hey wait, a father trying to bring his kids back by using their soul energy type of thing into some type of animatronic. Wait, this is a FNAF! Anyways, Zack was trying to lure in his fa the family who killed, in his killed his daughter into the mansion so he could kill them off. He literally says it in the games. But since the family chickened out, yay, they survived for now. But since the family chickened out, Zack decided to kill the people who did come, us and the players. Wow, what did we do, man? Well, yeah, after the players escape and go back to their houses, Zack still manages to find and kill them. Well, that escalated quickly. Hotel. Okay, now we're in a hotel. Nothing possibly dangerous could happen now. Can it? Well, the monster that Zack was building is right there. Yeah. What type of scary name is Limbo anyway, dude? But anyway, with the evidence of the fact that Emma's ghost in the coffin was right next to Limbo's body means Limbo is Emma, which we managed to find out in Capping Tree, but we'll talk about that later. Now, now to the story. The players are completely different people from the players from Mansion. It's gonna be like that for every camping game, by the way. So basically, they were staying in this hotel when Limbo appeared and scared. They, they stayed in their hotel dorm rooms for a while until someone knocked on our door and it turns out to be the family the same family with the dad they were asking why it was a scary alarm yeah there was an alarm before that but it is important we were like we were like oh there's a scary monster and they didn't believe us brats now i wish zach killed them oh about that apparently they were going to an exhausting camping trip if you looked out the door back in lobby in the lobby floor, you could see a sign saying "Specky Woods." And if you are, if you have the brain capacity of a five-year-old, you know that that's the same campsite from Camping One. They were going there to get themselves killed. 
the whole reason why Zack was in the secret ending in hotel and the reason why Limbo was in the hotel was because Zack and his animatronic daughter Emma were stalking the family to eventually kill them in camping and of course the only people who knew about Limbo were the players and, and when the cops showed up they thought the emergency call was just for the snow blizzard what camping the events of camping camping 2 and camping 3 go in the same order so this will be easy Camping was a simple horror game as it was the first of its kind. The OG campers we all know and love were out camping in Specky Woods. It is later found out that there was a family of five who was murdered by Zach Nolan. He finally accomplished his plans. He's still um, insane as, and is willing to in murder innocent people. What the hell? Well, well, in the first night, we see a monster. After avoiding it for several days, it turns out the monster was trying to warn us about the murderers involved in the players. We... We all, well, we all know this. Why is this important? Well, you know, know that if you just stay near the monster, aka Nightmare, while everyone runs away, he just kills you off. I thought he was nice. Actually, he still is. If you win the game in a match where the monster killed the player during the chase, he mentions that the player he killed was trying to get us. This means there were multiple murderers instead of one murder at the end. Well, that's one big question that was solved. Plus, if you win the game solo, that means you're the same murderer. So instead of the small talk, Nightmare just kills you. What a savage. Oh yeah, now about Nightmare. We all know Nightmare is a son who was the only one missing from the family in, in, in the incident. Even Zack called him the son. In the secret ending, we see the hood that the kid of, of the family of five was wearing on the monster. This shows how the son went from a kid to the monster we all know as Nightmare through Mansion Hotel, then right before the events of camping. Camping 2. New players, as always, go to hiking with Park Ranger Daniel, our tour guide. Yeah, the same Daniel from uh, from Camping 1. You could talk to him in Day 2 when the deer dies. Well, the events of Camping 2 wasn't too different from Camping 1, except of Nightmare chasing some of the players. It's Zach Nolan making his first physical appearance chasing everyone. He's still a bit insane. Oh. Now there are two outcomes. If you choose to suit or spare Daniel, uh, by the way, the players find a gun in midway through the game. Plus, they are suspicious of Daniel, which is why they pull a straight up gun on them. Canonly, we should get the good ending where we don't shoot Daniel. When, So, after that, when we go face to face with Zach Nolan at the end, Daniel right after that recognizes Zach. And, and before Zach kills everyone, talking about how he killed a full family. Nightmare stops him in his tracks and epically goes, not the whole family, and kills him. Wow, that's just epic. Also, if you noticed, Zack has a prison outfit, meaning he recently broke out of jail. This is the outfit that he's popular for, but in Zack's prime, he wears this grayish black shirt. Camping 3. Alright, we reached the end. We are in another tour guide with Park Ranger Daniel, and, and even Park Ranger Steve, who gets killed off by the mouse, sadly. And isn't it weird how in every camping game with the headline camping, Park Ranger Daniel appears and how some way a murder happens? What if Zach Nolan w was the person who killed a deer in Camping 1? And he also appears in Camping 2. But hey, Zach is, is dead so he can't possibly appear again. Well, until you see that no, no, I was talking about a while ago. Apparently, Emma managed to revive Zach into the mouse suit just like how Zach revived Emma. Man, this guy always comes back up. Wait, 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 no, 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 no! Anyways, we are hunted down by the mouse for a few nights until the boss fight where Emma, as Limbo, appears and, the bo and fights us with her dad, the mouse. Soon, they manage to win and push you down a cliff, but right before that happens, the ghosts of the family appear and try to save us. This causes a huge fight with the family in the Nolans. Hey, I just realized we have no idea who, the, who the, on the names of the family members are. Anyways... Nightmare stops the fight and goes, time to end this, and manages to stop the fight with his powers. Wow, he's strong. The dad finally ap apologizes for the death of Emma, and Zack actually forgives him. Ah, oh, it's so wholesome. Except the fact that the car with the players and Daniel are just rolling down the cliff because everyone were being idiots and forgot about us. And Zack, being the fully developed character, now sacrifices himself to save the players and Daniel, having him fall. He managed to die two times, man. Now that's heartbreaking. So, that was the story of camping. It can be heartbreaking, interesting, and even epic. But have you wondered why Zack attacks the players who were alongside Park Ranger Daniel? 
Like it could be that he just wants to spill blood as he was insane at the time, but it could be that Park Ranger Daniel did something terrible off screen. Who knows what the mystery of it, mysteries of Daniel holds? I mean, after all of what he has gone through, he still chooses to be the tour guide. But hey, that's just a theory. Again. Okay.